Hi guys, today we're going to be doing the grade 5 lesson 6 worksheet for this week. Quickly write your name at the top. Today is the 4th of October as I record this, so we can begin. Question number 1. Round each number to the nearest millions place. The nearest million place here for this number. We know that the millions are here. So to round to the nearest millions place, we look at the number before it. This is a 7, so we would obviously round up. Since 5 and above, you round up. You could write 9 million as your answer. Question number 2. 51,291,180. Nearest millions place is here. And the number before it is a 2, so we would round down. The answer to this one is 51 million. Question number three, five hundred and one million fifty one thousand nine hundred and sixty. We can look at the millions, look at one before it. This is a zero, so we would round down, making this five hundred and one million. Question number four, five hundred thousand one hundred ninety nine. There's no millions place here, but we can imagine the millions place as a zero, zero, and then you could write. 500,199. If we look at this number, million place is here, and then we have a 5. Since we have a 5, we would round up, making this 1 million. Question number 5 8 times 10 to the 6, 9 times 10 to the 5, and 4 times 10 to the 2nd power. 8 times 10 to the 6 is 800,000. We can see here that this is a number without a million, so all we got to do is draw an imaginary zero, put a comma, 8 is greater than 5, so we can just write 1 million as our final answer. Ah, never mind, we have new information. So 8 times 10 to the 6th power is 8 million. This will be incorrect. So if it's 8 million, then we also have to add the number after it, which will be 9 times 10 to the 5th. We can just put that right here. We have the millions place here, 8. We have the 100,000 place here, 9. 9 is greater than 5, so we'd round up. Your answer should actually be 9 million. Question number 6. 6,053,000. You can write out the number. As you can see, there's a zero in the hundred thousandth place. So if we're rounding to the nearest millions place, this will be six million as we round down. Round each number to the nearest billions place, right in standard form. This is just the same thing. All you need to do is find the number in the billions place, look at the number before it, f is greater than five, then we write fifth, and then we increase the number by one million billion by one billion, and then we just write out an answer. Here it's fifty-nine billion. Number two, we see that the billion place is here. It's a two, lower than four, so that means we are down to 189 billion. Question number three, billion place is here. The number after it is a nine. Nine is greater than five, we round up, 958 billion. Number four, 581 million, 591 thousand. So here, there's no billion, but again, we could just use the trick where we put an imaginary billion here, add a comma, since 5 is greater than 5 is equal to 5, that means we round the number up, making the answer to this question 1 billion. Question number 5, 19 billion, and then the next number after is 1, so we round down to 19 billion. Lastly, question number 6, 105 billion, Next number after billion is 100 million, it's a 1. Since it's a 1, we'd round down, and that means we get 105 billion. Round to the nearest millions place, write in short word form. Okay. Here, to be able to do this, all we need to do is read the number out. You can figure out where each number is in place value. 
by looking at the number of commas. To round to the nearest millions place, all you need to do is look at the number. Millions, the one number of one place value before it, hundred millions or hundred thousands. Since one is less than four, we'd round this down. So our answer will be 46 million, which we'd usually write like this. But since we need to write it in short word form, we'd write 46 million. Question number two, 104 million. After the millions place, we see 100 thousands. Five is equal to five, so we'd round it up. 105 million should be our answer, but you'd write 105 billion. That should be your final answer. 105 million. Okay, so after this, number three, 811 million. If you look at the number after the millions place, We'd round down because it's a one. Eight hundred and eleven million. Round to the nearest billions place, right in short word form. So here we're just doing the same thing. As you can see, this number only goes up to a hundred millions. So what we do is add our imaginary zero. And since we round down, since one is less than four, our answer will actually be zero, since the zero rounded down is still zero. Here, there's a billions place here. Billions, hundred millions. The hundred millions place is five, which means we round up. 197 billion, written in short word form. 197 billion. Lastly, question number three, 100 billion. In the hundred thousand, in the hundred millions place, there's nothing, so your answer would be one hundred billion, written like that in short word form. Last page, round to the place of the underlined digit. The underlined digit here is ten. All you need to do is look at the digit before it. Since it's less than four, you'd round to six thousand eight hundred and ninety. Here, we can see that the number is eight. Look at the number before it. It's six greater than five. 7,903, we can see that this number is what we're rounding to, but this number is greater than 5, so that means we'd round up, making the answer to this question 196,600. Number 4, we can see that we're rounding to the millions place here, look at the number before it, greater than 5, so our answer is 896 million. Indeed it is. Here, we're rounding to the 100 millions place. We look behind it, that's a 1, we'd round down. So our answer would be 10 billion. Since 100 million has a 0. 580, we're rounding to the billions place. Look at the 100 millions. We would round up since 6 is greater than 5. 581 billion. Solve each word problem. The current human population is said to be around 8,061,754,476. If the population was 6,381,185,024 20 years ago, what is the population dif difference? What is the difference in population over the 20 years? As we all know, difference means to subtract. So all we need to do here is subtract the two numbers. So let's write it out real quick. Let me use my tools here. 8 minus 061, 754, 476. That number minus the second number that we have. So all we need to do to subtract, light work. We can just put the answers under, start from this side. One second. Yeah, let's just start from this end here. Let's do this instead. Six plus four is ten. We write zero, carry the one. 
not, 7 plus 2 is 9 plus 1, 10, right, 0, carry the 1, 4 plus 1 is 5, comma, 5, 4 plus 5 is 9, 8 plus 5 is 13, so we'd carry the 1, 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9, 1 plus 1 is 2, 6 plus 8 is 14, carry the 1, 3 plus, 3 plus 1 is 4, and 8 plus 6 is 14, so our final answer should be 14,442,939,000 million, 14 million, for the total population of added. For the difference here, I actually forgot that we were supposed to do the difference here, but for the difference, all we need to do is subtract. So let's get the difference. Six, plus, 6 minus 4 is 2, 7 minus 2 is 5, 4 minus 0 is 4, 4 minus 5 is 9, we need to carry 1 from here, so this is actually 4, 4 minus 8 is 14 minus 8, which is 6, we need to carry 1 over, this is now 6, 6 minus 1 is 5, 1 minus 1 is 0, 6 minus 8 is 8, because we carry the 1 here, so since it's 0 here, we'd carry 1 from here to here, which makes this number 9. 9 minus 3 is 6, and this is now 7. 7 minus 6 is 1. So your final answer should be 1,680,569,452. Round your answer to the nearest millions place. Oh, this is easy. We can see that this is our answer here. If we look at the millions place, which is right here, and we look at the number four, it's a five, we round up. One billion, six hundred eighty million, six hundred eighty one million, and then the rest is zeros. Lastly, the US has an average population of 17,144 people per city, and there are a total of 19,495 cities. How many people live in cities in the US? Round your answer to the nearest millions place. All right, so all we gotta do for this is some multiplication. It's going to be 17144 times 19495. This, if you multiply it step by step, you can get your answer, but for the sake of time, I'm going to be showing you the answer here. One, 17,144 times 19,495 is 334,000,000, if I can write it, 334,222,280. And to round this number to the nearest millions place, all we need to do is find the millions place, take the number before it, it's less than four, so we'd round down to a final answer of 334 million.